Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and uh, we got here an exciting notebook from Asus. This is the Asus ZenBook Pro 14. So this one is actually a really small laptop, not just a small laptop but a tin and light laptop. So you can see we got here a design that uh, elevates the laptop by uh, having this one like an L shape over here. So we can see this design over at uh, the other laptops for be better ventilation and better cooling. But what's so special about the Asus uh, ZenBook Pro uh, 14 is that this one comes with a feature called screen pad. So basically the touchpad or the trackpad of the notebook is also your secondary display. Not just that, it's also touch screen and uh, you could actually use this screen pad for different features including a music player, a calendar, by the way, yeah, it's touch screen. Uh, we also got here the home which basically uh, lets you see the application that is being supported by the screen pad and of course calculator. So you don't have to worry actually about its uh, applications because Asus is promising that they'll continue uh, to have an app update or uh, no, additional applications for this one. For, so for the developers, if you want to develop applications for the screen pad, well, you could uh, submit it to the Microsoft Store. And of course, for the users or the buyers of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14, you can download some applications and you know some stuff on the Microsoft Store that you can use on the screen pad. Basically, we have the screen pad for better productivity, especially for those people you know who are into office, you want to check out your notes over here while doing a PowerPoint over there. So you know it's basically one of the best things to happen on an office person or you know so for some students if you are taking uh, making presentations, making a thesis, or just you know doing some stuff that you don't want to minimize any windows on the display. Speaking of the display, we got here a 14 inch display with a really minimal bezels, not just that, it's a full HD display and uh, one of the best things about it is that it has a really good color accuracy. I am not sure if this one has the best one in the market right now but what I'm seeing right now is one of the best in the market. Okay, we also got here the chiclet type keys over here. So nothing really special about it. Uh, well, it's uh, I like the feel of typing on this one. And again, I like that uh, the notebook is thin and really light. When it comes to connectivity, we got here the USB type C, a uh, USB type A, which is a USB 3.0 by the way, it's an HDMI. On the other side, we got here the headphone jack. A micro SD card slot. I'm not sure why they chose to have a micro SD card slot if they can have an SD card slot, right? For for some problems. Anyway, we also got here another USB on this side, but it's not 3.0. So unlike the uh, Asus ROG that uh, we have took a video before uh, a while ago, this one doesn't have an RGB light bulb because number one, it's a ZenBook. So basically, this one is meant for premium users, you know, for those people who aren't into productivity. For gaming, you have the ROG. So yeah, basically, that's it for the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14. So basically, I love this laptop. It's thin, it's light. We got a really good screen pad and uh, of course, a really good display. Oh, and by the way, this one runs on GTX 1050 Max-Q GPU. So you know that you can run some games over on this laptop. And yes, we do have an up to Intel Core i7 processor on the Asus ZenBook Pro 14. So yeah, I guess that's it for our hands-on of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now's the time to subscribe. So once again, I am Jam, jamonline.ph, and uh, thanks for watching our hands-on of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14.